Hello everyone and welcome to this video guys. In today's video, I'll show you my resume for Google Data Analytics Apprenticeship Program 2025. First, I'll show you my score, what I got, 80 score for my, for my resume. So it's 88% above higher. And if I check onto the Google, what is the best score for ADS to shortlist your resume? So it's it should be uh, about 80%. So I have got 88%, so good to go. Let me show you my resume now. So this is my resume. So before heading to my resume, I want to tell you something for the freshers people. Guys, if you don't have experience, don't worry. I have a method for you guys also, how you can crack Google Data Apprenticeship Program without having experience just by project work. I'll be explaining that also. First, let me explain you guys about my resume. So I made this resume purely on Google Docs. I didn't use any fancy softwares like Canva or designs, nothing. It's very pure, simple, made it on Google Docs itself. So first of all, I mentioned my name, my mail ID, my contact number, and my LinkedIn. So I just put a hyperlink over that. Okay, talking about my experience. So my experience is into management, and all of these are mutually internships only. So my first internship was into Airbus, one of the leading aerospace company. So I have mentioned the roles and responsibility only related to the job description of this data analytics program, what exactly they wanted, the same responsibilities I have put by matching those things. So here you can read it out, map analyze data on market salaries, leveraging tools like Excel and SCP success factors, dollar compensation strategies. That means Excel is used in data analytics, that is for sure. So I use that data, then ensuring data accuracy, analyzing things. These all things are very much related to data analytics. So according to that, only I have written the roles and responsibility. I have not written apart from other things like, you know, I managed this things, I managed that. Thing. No, which is related to GD job description, same roles and responsibility I have written over here. The same goes to the second internship also, I mean, kind of job where I have conducted data-driven recruitment and onboarding process where data is included. Excel I have used, I had done analyzing, I had done cleaning of data. So everything is included in this roles and responsibility. Even in this last internship also, like data centric, I had an onboarding, then utilize data for exit interview. So everything is related to data, guys. So apart from that, uh, these are my major coursework. Coursework means certification or what course you do apart from your education. So I have completed uh, Excel, Google Excel, uh, sorry, my Udemy from Udemy. I have completed this Excel course from beginning to advanced where I understood about pure table and we look up and everything. Apart from that Google Data Analytics professional course, it is one of the highly recommended course, guys. You have to check it out on Coursera. One of the basic understanding you get out of this course. So highly recommended to check it out if you are really interested for this role. Apart from that, I have also done Power BI also from Udemy where I learned about visualization tools and everything. So this is all about my experience and coursework. If I come to my education, so I have, again, here also I have mentioned HR and analytics. Again, it relates to data analytics, then business management, then uh, I am from commerce background. Then when it comes to skill, so basically when it comes to skill, um, the more than uh, technical skills, I know it's a balance of both when it comes to data analytics, the skills are balance of both technical as well as management skill, because you won't just be coding, coding, or you won't just be, you know, sitting on a laptop and just doing coding stuff or visualizing things. No, as a data analytics, you will be responsible to explain your management, how you do. So communication skill is very important, guys. That's the number one skill. Then comes SQL. SQL is a basic of data analytics. So I mentioned SQL over here. Then comes data management and decision making. Data management also is important and also decision making is also important because in decision making, what you learn is how to make decision on the basis of data, what you get and how you do it. That is more important, guys. So once this is done, so this is how my uh, resume looks and there is languages. I know I have more than four, four or five languages. Then these are my few of the interests which are interested in digital marketing. I like teaching and show about different stock market. And good to go, guys. That's a perfect resume. Okay. Now comes people who don't have experience, people who don't have internships. So how they will manage the things. Let me show you first thing. First thing, I'll take you to the chat GPT. So what you can write is 
Cue me. Okay, just one second. Just one second. Okay, over here. Mm, I'll show you how I have done. So I just put up in the chat GPT suggest me four projects related to data analytics where I want to apply for Google Data Analytics Apprenticeship Program at Google. So according to my search and results, uh, chat GPT has uh, suggested me these four projects. One is employee turnover analysis, one is HR operation and dashboard, salary benchmarking mark, uh, marking and market analysis, and recruitment funnel op optimization. So these four projects are related to my experiences. Also, if you put it on chat GPT, even you guys will get this four projects, which is truly, truly related to this program that is Google Data Analytics Apprenticeship, guys. So uh, it's very easy to do project, guys. It's not a big, you know, big science or rocket science. It's very simple. And what do you have to do? Once you complete this project, then you have to ask ChatGPT to give me roles and responsibility related to this project. So for example, ChatGPT has given me uh, for my first project, that is employee turnover analysis, data collection and cleaning, gathering employee data, including demographics, job roles, performance, and tenure, statistical analysis, reporting and recommendation. And the second one also same responsibility I given. And even in third one, it's the same responsibilities. Yes, and fourth one also responsibilities are clearly mentioned. The same responsibilities. Now, what you have to do is go into the resume. Uh, I'll tell you an example what you do. You have to remove all these things and mention what project you're mentioning over here. Uh, like, for example, a recruitment and funnel optimization. You mentioned your recruitment and funnel optimization. Take this all things, copy it, and paste it over here, and all your full projects are done. And this is how you correlate with the JD job description. Okay, next comes about coursework. For example, I'll tell you two situations because you have to be Jukaru guys. It's very important. If you don't have any coursework, if you are not done any coursework, I'll highly recommend you how to do it. See, the Google Data Analytics project, I mean, apprenticeship program will start. I mean, the tele interview and everything will start from March 2025. So still you guys have time. So meanwhile, what you can do is you can go to the course uh, Udemy and head it over here. The first thing is, if you want to learn about uh, data analytics bootcamp from basic to advanced, Chris sir has given an amazing Udemy course. It's just for 499 guys. And I know nowadays 499 is very easy because people spend a lot of other things to watch movies and others. But please do spend on this course also. It's very important guys. Highly recommended. One of the best teacher on YouTube as well as on Udemy. You can check it out. This is one of the best course you can do it. Again, if you are not done this course and I uh, know uh, I want to apply it now only, what if the application get closed? So what you can do is go to your Udemy course, purchase it. And then for example, what you can do, I'll show you the best example. So you can just tick mark over here. So once you tick mark over here, so you will get your certification of Udemy. And here, sorry, once again, here you can see your progress. So once you tick mark everything, uh, your progress will be 100% completed and then you'll get your certification and then you can put it on your resume. Even that also you can do it. Also, this is how you become Chikwadu guys in India because still you have time till March guys. So please do prep yourself and do everything, whatever you can do guys, because that's one of the best program what Google's put it out and location are also like, you know, it's kind of pan India location. So you will be learning a lot about Google data analytics apprenticeship program. So also guys, people who want to make resume like this, uh, I have made a WhatsApp group also. People who don't have time and want to make your resume quickly, then they can definitely reach out to me. I can help you out in making the resume guys, even that I can do that. <laughs> if you need any help guys, please reach out to me on WhatsApp guys. I'll help you out. And apart from that, in next video, uh, my resume is done. So once I uh, complete this video, I'll be applying, directly heading and applying this towards, and I'll be showing you what all test uh, I'll be giving everything I'll show you guys. So once this video is done, then I, I'll be directly heading to applying this at Google Data Analytics Apprenticeship Program. And also, uh, please let me know in the comment section if you want me guys to cover data analytics syllabus also, what all things I had to learn in a structure manner, then definitely even that I'll do for you guys, okay? Till then, thank you so much guys for watching this video. Thank you so much. And let's crack this program guys. Thank you.